Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a little recap of my freshman year of college. Kind of going to be rambling on a little bit, but this is a type of video that I watched all the time when I was um, like junior and senior in high school looking for like um, just advice, what to expect I guess. Disclaimer is everyone has a different college experience, obviously. Watching videos like this doesn't give you exactly what college is gonna be like I'm just gonna talk about my experience so okay let's just get into it yeah just finished my first year at Iowa State University and um, I'll just talk about a little bit about how, why I picked Iowa State so like soft you know freshman sophomore year in high school I wanted to go to like Harvard or Yale I wanted to go to a really prestigious school as the years progressed I realized that Maybe I didn't want to go that far away from home. Um, living in Iowa, both coasts are pretty far away. So um, I was like, maybe that's not the best option for me, but I still totally wanted to go out of state and like just somewhere different and new because I've always been kind of like adventurous and I just wanted to try. So I kind of grew out of my Harvard um, Ivy League phase a little bit. And I was like, okay, I can go somewhere in the Midwest. And so I visited a lot of schools. Um, first of all, because I just wanted to. I wanted to visit a lot of different schools to like compare um, different colleges because I just thought that was the best way to do it. Second of all, because my brother's two years older. So like when he was a junior, I was a freshman in high school. Um, and so like he would go on college visits and I would just go along with him. And even though I was a freshman, you know, I was pretty young, I still like really um they like get a lot out of the visit i visited probably about 15 colleges after it was all said and done schools i visited i obviously visited iowa state and then i visited like the university of iowa and the university of northern iowa which are the three state schools in iowa so i visited all of those and then i visited a couple private schools in iowa I also visited um loyola university in chicago because i kind of thought i wanted to live in chicago and i visited um, Concordia University uh, in Mo Ma Wisconsin, and it's in the Milwaukee area, and then I univers visited University of Wisconsin-Madison. I really had it narrowed down to um, Iowa and Iowa State for the in-state schools that I liked, because I, I decided that I know I didn't want to go to a private school, I wanted something big, but then I loved University of Wisconsin-Madison as well. So those were the three that, like, throughout, like, the summer going into my senior year and, like, during the first half of my senior year, I really could not decide which one I liked the best. It was honestly, like, I did not know. Like, each day would be different. To be frank, the one that I liked the most was the University of Wisconsin-Madison. It was so expensive for out of state. A lot of people say, like, oh, just go to your dream school. It costs doesn't matter. But, like, when you start to get into that situation, like, cost does matter a lot. And in e either way, but with Iowa and Iowa State, it's not like I didn't like them. I loved both of them. So I was like, I'm just going to stay in state. Um, so basically what I'm saying is I went in like full circle going from like, I want to go to Harvard. Oh, maybe I want to go in Chicago. Oh, I want to go to Wisconsin to being like, I just want to go in state. Young Annie would have been like, girl, you're weak. Yeah, I would say um, I was really excited about this youth ministry called SALT, which I talked about a little bit before. That's something that really made me want to go to Iowa State. They had a, something called National Student Exchange, which I'm doing, which is like studying abroad, but within the United States. Like, at the end of the day, it just felt like home to me. Iowa State felt like home. Oh, so, boom. I'm a cyclone. Now, like, getting into actually, like, the whole year. Um, I started... I actually moved in early because I did primary recruitment, which is sometimes known as rushing for sorority. I'm glad I did that. It was a good decision in my opinion. Um, I got to move in early, meet people early, get familiarized with the campus. Actual recruitment part of it, I really enjoyed. Seeing all the houses, um, meeting so many women, and just like meeting people, it was a really, I'm so glad that I did that. I did join a sorority, um, and then I ended up dropping it just for like, no reason other than like it just didn't feel right for me. I didn't drop because it was like crazy like initiation and everyone was catty or anything. It just didn't feel right for me so I decided not to do it. So anyway I started off the year. I came into college uh, with a lot of oh there are squirrels playing. Anyway I came into college with 
a lot of expectations. Um, honestly, it's hard for me to like think back to what they were or like what I thought college was going to be. Let's just say this. Overall, my freshman year, like if you were asking me right now, did you enjoy your freshman year? Yes, I loved it. It was great. But, however, there are definitely parts that were not good. That were not good. And that's the, that's the stuff that you don't hear. Um, and this isn't, like, meant to scare anyone because it's not like it was crazy bad. It's just that I had such high hopes because people would say, college is great, you meet your lifelong best friends. People are like, you'll be so busy, there's something to do all the time. And people to do it with everywhere. And my first semester, that was not the case for me. I actually lived on a wise floor, which is women in science and engineering, and I was a journalism major, so I didn't have any, they all had the same classes and I didn't. That, first of all, wasn't what I was expecting, because I thought, oh, I would just be going to my friend's dorm rooms, like, across the hall all the time, like, my floor, we'll be like buddies, um, like, everyone was super nice, that wasn't the problem, but I wasn't, like, close close with them. I was just really insecure about my friend situation because I felt like I hadn't really made any friends and like I had friends but you know I just I just felt so lonely all the time. That was the thing. I was just so lonely. It was just kind of like sad and lonely. Um, one thing that really did get me through was my youth group. Um, the salt company within that there's like little groups called connection groups which is like basically your little bible study small group thing clearly I had them and I had other friends too so that's why it's so hard to like explain because I really did have friends but it just like I just didn't realize it kind of there was no reason for me to feel so sad and lonely but it was really just because my expectations were so high and they weren't met and I was just kind of like on this like crash this whole the whole first semester because you know I started like bright-eyed mushy-tailed whatever like oh my gosh college I'm so excited I'm ready I'm gonna make make my best friends meet the love of my life freshman year I skid it and it just like wasn't happening right away this isn't what people said it would be like all summer people were like you're gonna thrive you're gonna love college they were just piping me up and I was like frick yes and then it just like wasn't happening so i was like okay so i just want to say that i had a really good roommate so that was like hashtag blessed because you know that can really make or break so my roommate and i got along great um she's actually probably one of my most loyal subscribers so shout out to ariana sanchez a lot of time that i spent sitting alone in my room looking at snap stories instagram stories instagram posts you know tweets of people like Oh my gosh, can't believe I met my best friends. Like, can't believe I went 18 years without these guys. Like, I was just sitting there by myself like, oh, I guess, I guess I'll go eat now. Or, oh, I guess I'll just, like, watch some Netflix or something. And, oh my gosh. Social media thing, yeah, I just compared myself, which is just something that you just shouldn't do. And social media promotes that. I love social media, but it does promote, like, comparison. And in this situation, it was really sad for me. Like, it was bad for me to, like, be on social media all the time, just, like, seeing all the people. And there's nothing wrong with people who do make friends right away, like, posting about it. There's nothing wrong with that because, you know, they're happy. And they did make good friends. So, um, I'm not saying, like, oh, don't post about it because then I'll feel sad. But, like, I just shouldn't have, like, took it so much to heart. Long story short, first semester... Um, not my cup of tea. And then I come home, you know, for Christmas, glad to be go out of there. And, like, everyone's like, oh, didn't you love it? it? Wasn't first semester awesome? And I was like, no, it wasn't. And that was hard, too. Getting back second semester, I was not feeling it. I was like, I do not want to come back. Um, this is just going to be another semester of loneliness. And I just had, like, low expectations. Which, in hindsight, was probably good, because I had high expectations first semester, and then they weren't met. But then second semester, I had really low expectations, and I wasn't excited. But, I don't know what happened. Bam. I just was like, one day I realized, like, hey, what the heck? I'm happy again. Like, I feel like myself again. I feel like I have friends. I feel like, um, you know, I have people I can talk to. Um, second semester, things really turned around, and I was kind of like, what happened? And for me, it was just that, like, things take time, and I didn't realize that. 
So, like, second semester, I just felt like I could... I had people that I was very comfortable um, asking to, like, go get dinner, go get coffee, go hang out with. I didn't feel as insecure when I was alone. First semester, I prayed a lot. Prayed to God, like, just, like, help me, help me feel fulfilled in you instead of, like, seeking others' attention. And so I did really grow in my relationship with God first semester. And my parents were with, like, here for me through all this, but you know, they weren't there. First semester was, at the time, not <laughs> fun. But I grew so much in my, just like, like, I found more of who I was, you know, as far as like finding myself, great friends, then second semester that were my friends first semester. And you know, you just, relationships take time to develop. That's like my biggest takeaway from college is like patience, <clears throat> and prayer. First semester did not meet my expectations. Second semester exceeded them by a million. Like what I thought was going to happen in college, like that isn't exactly like how my college went, but it was like better. After time, you know, it started feeling like home. My friends started feeling like my second family, you know, my youth group like just started feeling like family and like I was sad to leave. Shout out to all my friends. You can go watch my, I'll link my freshman year montage video in the description because that just showcases some of my great pals who like really like just you know brought light to my life. I'm just going to talk about a little bit now about what activities I was involved in. Um, let's see the biggest one was the salt company. The uh, like insert a list here of like which colleges have the salt company. I don't know how to do this but hopefully it's right here. And um, Maybe a college that you're thinking about going to has it. In a small group really is what made um, made the year bearable for me, especially first semester. So my small group was like amazing. So yeah, salt company um, or just a, a student ministry in general. I'm a huge advocate for that. I was also in the choir. That was amazing. I met super awesome people in the choir. I was in a women's choir, which was so fun. She had the opportunity to go to New York and perform in Car Carnegie Hall. And so that was one of my favorite memories from this year, um, was going to New York with my choir pals. That vlog will also be linked below. Look at me promoting myself. Wow, I went through that whole video without even really talking about college. I, my major was public relations. Um, I started as journalism and then switched to public relations that semester. They're very similar, but just a little different. So anyway, I joined P Public Relations Student Society of America, otherwise known as PRSSA. And that was amazing. Met some cool people in that and went to Chicago. For some agency tours, so the video is linked below. Shout out to Greenlee. Just in this this club called Dub H. It's like hip hop dance club and that was just really fun. It was just a fun thing. So I did that with my friend Becca and then I met some cool peeps in that. Um, so yeah, get involved. That's also a way to meet people truly is to get involved. So <clears throat> get involved and um, for me like schoolwork is super important still. Um, I did just have time for to get my work done and be involved in a few things. I also had a job was still able to get my school work done for me like honestly when I think back of the year obviously um, I don't think about school <laughs> I think about like um, really just like my growth as a person in my faith and in my just personal who I am my friendships so that's what I think about when I think about my freshman year I had very stressful classes very stressful nights doing papers and studying and whatnot that'll happen in college um you just gotta learn time management and that's something i really did work on this is probably gonna be a long video so if you watch all the way to the end you're awesome <laughs> and i really hope that this helped because this is really what i needed to hear when i was going to be um going to college i knew that like college was gonna be hard as far as classes but i just wondered like how am i gonna make friends how am i gonna get involved and I will say, Iowa State does a super fantastic job of, like, making clubs really accessible for students. And, like, it's really easy to join. Go, go State. Dilly dilly. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to my channel. Um, like this video if it helped you at all. And go check out my other vids. Have a great day.